Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. We really appreciate you for your support. We do not take it for granted. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. IPOB reveals the deals Nigerian government allegedly made with Kenya towards Nam Dikano's arrest. Up to now, um, um, Kenyan government, they are still refuting, they are still denying, they are still in denial that they have no hand. But we know Nam Dikano's brother confirmed that Nam Dikano was picked up from Kenya. And most probably part of the deal, maybe part of the deal was to tell President Mohamed Buhari not to reveal where Namdi Kano was arrested from his own part because uh, how we found out that it was Kenya, it was Namdi Kano's brother that stated that when um, Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, was rejoicing, was speaking that Namdi Kano has been arrested, he refused to give details, he didn't give details, he didn't say anything. Maybe that is, uh, is also part of um, the pact that they signed. But IPOB has just uh, made a shocking revelation on the sort of deal the deal that was made between um, Nigerian government and um, Kenyan's government, how they aided the, uh, the, the, the arrest, the capture of Nam Dikano and also the repatriation to Nigeria. We'll bring you all of those details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Biafrans explain why Kenyan president Ururu Kenyatta betrayed his acclaimed leader, Nam Dekanu. IPOP spokesperson Ima Powerful announced that Kenyatta betrayed Nam Dekanu due to financial and oil inducement from the Nigerian government. It is believed that the Nigerian government arrested Nam Dekanu in Kenya and extradicted him to Nigeria. But the Kenyan government has denied the allegations of their involvement in Nam Dekano's arrest. Ima Powerful in a statement said, According to our intelligence report, Kenya has betrayed our leader because of money and oil offer from Nigeria. The negotiation was chaired by the Nigerian ambassador in Nairobi, who held discussions with President Ururu, Kenyatta, and the Kenyan Immigration Service. Ururu, Kenyatta accepted the deal because of the oil price offered and consented to his wickedness. Kenyan President Ururu Kenyatta and the Nigerian ambassador should be ashamed of betraying an innocent man for money, but we assure them that they will suffer heavily for this betrayal. So IPOB, they've just um, re revealed a shocking revelation that um, there was a deal Nigerian government President Mohamed Buhari presented to um, their president, Uru Kenyatta, that um, regarding oil price. So in a nutshell, it's all about money, 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 made them betray Nabdi Kano. But even up to now, they are still denying, they are still in denial. Uh, Kenyan president was even saying that he has no knowledge of Nabdi Kano even stepping into the soil, meaning that he was not even aware any of such raid took place. They should wait for it, it's coming. You know, a report just came out that um, even the UK Parliament, they are set to debate um, the circumstances surrounding the arrest of Nam Dekano, and they are going to be questioning the Kenyan government. They are going to explain. Let them not think that um, they can just do some sort of, uh, play some tricks, play some games. Okay, it's African country against African country. They should be reminded Nam Dekano is a British citizen as well. So uh, the truth will definitely come out. No wonder... Um, the Attorney General of the Federation, when he was given the report that Nam Dekano has been arrested, we know he, he was the one that um, um, made the first um, statement that Nam Dekano has been arrested, but he refused to give further details. He didn't speak further on it that um, um, the, the, is, there are sensitive issues. He was just using some words to cover it. Even when the British High Commissioner in Abuja met with him, trying to ask him some questions uh, around uh, Nam Dekano's arrest, the way <laughs> the way the Attorney General of the Federation re 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 rebuffed her, uh, just uh, pushed those questions aside. He didn't want to go inside. So we know that there is something they are hiding. And it, with all indication, it's very clear that uh, Buhari is working tooth and nail. He's doing everything possible just to nail Enam Dekano. 
Number one, why is he? Why are they hiding where he was uh, was picked up from? They refused to state where he was picked up from. It was Unam Dikano's brother who confirmed that Unam Dikano was picked in Kenya. Obviously, Unam Dikano's brother would have known that Unam Dikano was in uh, Kenya. Maybe they even even rang his brother immediately to see what is going on before he was picked up from Kenya. But uh, President Mohamed Buhari, they think they can play a fast one. They can't play a fast one. Look at betrayal here. Due to financial and oil inducement, IPOP, they are stating that uh, they shouldn't worry, that um, they should be assured that they will all suffer heavily for this betrayal. So that means that word is going to Kenyan government, Kenyan president, Uru Kenyatta, who betrayed the IPOP leader. And we know we got that report that um, Nam Dikano was lured. He was um, deceived um, going into Kenya. He was deceived. So this could even be part of the plot that um, uh, come to Kenya, we have some deals, so we're going to assist your 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 movement and all of that. That was what took him there. Well, um, <laughs> it's in the open now. It's in the open that there was a deal signed by Buhari's government. And here's Buhari who's trying to lay claims. All of the charges he placed on Unam Dekano, felony, terrorism, name it, all of those things, the, the people he's meant to put all of those uh, charges on, they are his neighbors. They live behind him. Boko Haram. Fulani headsmen. Fulani headsmen. Uh, they, they, they are his family members. Buhari is a Fulani man. We can see that his wife. We've never heard it anywhere. No report has carried it that Buhari is after a, a Fulani leader. You know, that was why Benue State Governor was stating that for you to pick Nam Dekano and tagging him as a terrorist, then um, Nigerians are waiting. The next person you need to pick is the, the leader of um, the Mieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria. It has to be picked up as well. Well, we'll see. Everyone is watching closely. Buhari knows that um, he's in a tight situation. He dares not do anything to Unam Dekano because he's been warned that nothing should happen to Unam Dekano. The U.S. even told him that Unam Dekano should have a fair trial. For them to make that statement, it means they are following up. They are watching all the events. They are watching everything. July 7th is the day that even the United Kingdom have set aside to debate all of these, um, these happenings. The UK will not sit and watch Buhari uh, mistreat their citizen. So they might decide to take it up. They might decide that um, um, they need Nam Dekano back in the United Kingdom um, to be tried. All Nigerians is wishing and hoping and praying for is that there should be a fair trial. You should have a fair trial. That is all. Well, guys, let's hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.